It's Tuesday, June 13th. You're listening to your Florida Daily. I'm Katrina Scales. Former President Donald Trump is in South Florida today, and for the second time in just weeks, he'll face a judge on criminal charges. This time, it's in connection with classified documents found at his Mar-a-Lago estate. Trump has said he will plead not guilty to 37 felony counts, including violations of the Espionage Act. Prosecutors claim some of the mishandled documents contained information on U.S. nuclear weapons programs and military secrets of both the U.S. and foreign countries. Local police and the Secret Service are preparing for possible protests outside the courthouse in Miami, where his court appearance will take place. An Orlando police officer is off the job and facing charges. Investigators say he was driving nearly 40 miles an hour over the speed limit, then took off from the deputy who tried to stop him. What? I am going into work, my man. Why are you trying to pull me over as I'm going into work? Because you're going 80 and a 45. I am going into work. Deputies in Seminole County say they clocked Officer Alexander Shayanai doing 80 in a 45 mile an hour zone and driving recklessly. The deputy says he then had to go over 90 miles an hour just to catch up with Shay and I, who then refused to identify himself. What no does it look like I am dressed for? My name is Deputy Hilton and they see your driver's license. No. Okay. He was later arrested on several charges, including resisting an officer. And the World Center of Racing could soon become the temporary home of the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Daytona International Speedway is one of the places the team could host games while their stadium undergoes a $2 billion makeover. Construction is expected to start after the 2025 season, meaning the Jags will need a place to play for the 2026 and 2027 seasons. The Speedway's president says he has reached out to the team and is ready to meet with executives. And if this is something that is, you know, so out there, unique and different, maybe we can help drive some additional people uh, to the great state of Florida. Other places being considered include Camping World Stadium in Orlando and Ben Hill Griffin Stadium in Gainesville. Find these top stories along with breaking news, weather and traffic all day on ClickOrlando.com. And now a completely random Florida fact. The Great Miami Hurricane of 1926 was a large and intense tropical cyclone that devastated the greater Miami area and caused catastrophic damage in the Bahamas and U.S. Gulf Coast. As a result of the devastation wrought by the hurricane, the land boom in Florida ended. The hurricane represented an early start to the Great Depression in the aftermath of Florida's 1920s land boom. Your Florida Daily is produced by News 6 WKMG in Orlando. I'm Katrina Scales. Subscribe for new episodes wherever you like to listen.